All right. Well, we are back. Huh? We're back at the Nine Club Experience, everybody. The other show that has skaters talking, Raj. The you know Thursday I mean? one. Very clever. Yes. Yeah. yes. The better one. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, <That's> dude. <laughs> this guy's here for five episodes. Thinks he has a better I know. Show. They're both pretty good. Listen, man, better, this though. is episode 19. We're still, we're still learning. We're still doing things. Episode 19? This is actually going to be a, a very news heavy episode. We got a lot of things going on in skateboarding right now. A lot of things. Daniel. Daniel a lot of good things. Daniel Castillo sitting in with us, you know? Hello. Yeah. He's back again. So uh, a lot of things going on. We just, uh, oh, Aaron Mace's episode dropped. Yeah. That yeah, was a good one. Yeah, it was good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Guys. Uh, That's a fun one to edit. You guys all worked a lot with him. Yeah. Well, all of, or four of you guys. Yeah. 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 Great guy. Good, good guy. guy. Good guy. Good stories. Good story. Well, I got actually got some comments here that. Uh, oh, you read the YouTube comments there? Read the YouTube comments, Raj. You know, and uh, here's some good comments from, uh, from YouTube. <laughs> uh thebo for 100 people want jim thebo for episode 100 Never we're coming had. up on it raj this I, is uh soon. nine episodes nine episodes left to go oh, 10 wow. 10 episodes yeah. right 10 you guys are at 90 90 you think you you guys will get to 990 no oh we're quitting after 999 <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> 990 we'll be here for a long ass Fuzz time we'll get yeah. right. hair. <laughs> jesus daniel <laughs> Uh, if I hear or read the name Chico, I all I hear is Chris saying bedtime. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one, right? It's true, yeah. Yeah. Were well, you were on that trip? Oh, yeah. You were on the trip when we I was talking about when. Yeah. He, in Barcelona. Yeah. yeah bedtime. I yeah. I you could probably there. hear him from the, your room. Uh, yeah. No, Chico is the man. I can definitely hear him. Bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, respect for the heroes working hard behind the scenes. Crail Club hashtag. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is about Mesa. Oh, this is about me. Yeah, oh, this right, is from right, Mesa's right. episode. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, these new dudes are cool, but stick with the legends. <laughs> That's what I get a comment. Yeah. But I'm sorry. Was he saying that Aaron Mesa was a new dude? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wait. Like, what? How do you <laughs> to the whole I think people just comment before they even watch something. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Who is this they guy? don't even. Yeah, yeah. Like just watch the goddamn episode. Yeah. Right. Weird. Learn something maybe. Huh? Need mouse, Take something dude. away from it. Yeah. Love child. Yeah. Questionable. So yeah. many. I mean, Jesus Christ. Just the FTC videos alone. FTC. Yeah. Crow couch. The maze. Hell yeah. The man behind some of the all-time classic skate footage. Thank you, Nine Club. You there know we mean? go. Uh -huh. Dagger comment was gold. Our bag went over everybody else's head. No one heard it. No, we heard it, Raj. We just ignored it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ten more episodes till a hundred. We're coming up on a hundred, man. This is fucking crazy. It's crazy. It's fun, dude. <laughs> Mesa. I met him during the Pretty Sweet Tour. Really cool dude. He talked to me for a while, and I got a picture with him. Ha, ha, ha. Who wrote that? <laughs> uh, Paul Tum Tumulti. I think he has it hanging on his wall. Probably deleted it from his camera roll. <laughs> Uh, what else, guys? What else do we have going on here? Oh, we we got we got. So we just jump into some news. I want to talk about oh. one little thing. Oh, Ooh. oh, Raj, curveball. What do you think about colored grip tape? So yeah, any news? <laughs> uh, what's going on in the news? Because I'm oh, fucking sick go. and tired of seeing colored grip tape. Well, the only what? trips me out about colored grip tape, it's I swear every time I see someone have it, they're always saying like it's not as grippy as this regular black grip tape. Uh -huh. Like I had someone, at, so one of my friends had like a, some graphic on it, and it was just so slippery. Hmm. And I was like, "Why are you just?" It looks like that could be. I the think case, it right? ruins footage. It just looks disgusting half the time. I don't have a problem with it. I just can't skate it. I get yeah. black, black, black. Damn. Yeah, I can't do color grip saying. tape either. What do you mean? I saw you with pink camo grip tape. No, the other no, day. not me. No, it wasn't you. That was Justin. <laughs> yeah, oh. it, was, it was Justin. It was oh. me. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, colored fuck, fuck color grip yeah, tape, Raj. I think of the new right? generation, a lot of the new generations, like super I feel like they're forward. buying it because that's all that's probably like available at the skate shop. You like colored wheels? No, I like seeing colored wheels on footage. Uh, I like yellow and orange wheels. I hate fucking red, and <laughs> fucking black wheels. And black wheels. wheels. It feels like it seems like they're going slower, right? I did black wheels for a little bit. They they kind of like I don't know. I was hyped on it for a second. They're kind of cool. Yeah, they're right. I, I had rode some that were like all black on top, and the core was is uh, white. What autobahns? No, there were some gold wheels that kind of were similar, to like the autobahn thing. Mm -hmm. But this is a great conversation, right, Chris? Hey, we're skaters talking about skateboarding. This, this is, is what we do. This is what we do. I only brought the grip tape up because like, I was watching a clip today. And I was like, fuck, that was sick. But the grip tape was disgusting. Sometimes I see white and I'm like, I wonder if that like helps. 
Does oh, to ha- see the when yeah, you're like flipping? when you when, yeah, yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't like it, but I'm wondering if it helps or something. Oh. Yeah. Daniel Vargas rocks a white grip tape all the time. But he rides the he rides the pants and the t-shirt like, and the hat yeah. all white too. <laughs> Full car chart yeah. painter. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, let's, yeah. go, let's, <laughs> let's start the show. I let's like, move I like on. this. Let's this move cool. on. Well, let's let's first start off with Phoenix Sam. Yeah, Kelly's straight. But you didn't judge, did you? No, I was no, just out you there were just chilling. there. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I was out to watch. Looking and, for talent, right? Um, it was fun, man. It's it wasn't that hot, thank God. Um, it was just I, I, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm pretty sunburnt to be honest. But Ivan sick. Ivan Montero one Montero Montero. Yeah. yeah, he was. He's just. It's like messed up how good he is really what does he ride for huh. is he on a dwindle brand i think he's getting stuff from visual now joey's hooking him up oh there you go yeah but he, like yeah, it was cool. just one of those things you're watching it and you were just like he just tray flips the rail tray flip lip slides the rail comes back around does a couple of tricks tray flip nose blunts the rail yeah and you're just like how is Jeez. that a thing now like it's he like, does on like the bump to car you're like back to 70 lip to 70 people have like perfect skate parks to like grow up skating now well, I, yeah, I, I mean... Is that it, the dude at the barracks that was doing the tray flip lip sides on everything the other day? No, event? that was a, a, a different... different um, Felipe... Gustavo? No, Gustavo something no, else. Last like name, first kid. name was Gustavo. Gustavo. But, <laughs> Gustavo, yeah. But um, there were some impressive kids. Yeah. Um, I actually went online and looked and see if our, our little uh, little Jaeger was uh, skating. In who? The, His and brother little, was. Little Jaeger. Oh, yeah. His brother was skating. Yeah. It. And you know what? It's funny, because, but, but he wasn't because he just won. Pro, right? He just won Tampa Pro. But yeah. he's a, and I, I read this comment on YouTube like, why does Chris hate y- Jaeger? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't. I'm just saying it's just weird that he's in a pro contest and doesn't have a pro board. That's all. Right. But it's still cool well, that he called Jaeger. Gonna I was going to say you might want to learn his name, and yeah. then maybe people won't think you're hating on him. <laughs> Jaeger is his name. Jagger. 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 Yeah. He what? skates at a pro level for I sure. I call Daniel Daniel Castillo all the time. Of course, yeah, you do. It's Castillo. Gabriel Fortunato, Fortunato or Fortunat? I don't forget what. I, I See, was, now you're mocking no people's idea. names. No, I just care. <laughs> it, dude, he's super good though. He does. He's one of the only guys I see that does a sex change, and I was like, Ugh. dude, he does it so good though. <laughs> oh, he got second. <laughs> Uh, Jack Olson got third. Uh, Jack Olson did he get rips. third. Yeah, Jack Olson's sick. You see his yeah. part? He should be so pro. good. Jack Olson. He's been holding it down for a while, dude. Yeah. yeah. And that Phoenix pro. Sam is like his kind of his thing. Like every time I hear hear about him skating contests, it's always there and he, he won it before. I'm kinda of surprised like real didn't turn pro like they did uh Yeah, but Robbie Brockle was yeah. from there. This is all Jack Olson's commercial, his Thunder commercial. Right, Raj? Sick. <laughs> really sick. Really good. Really good. <laughs> yeah, last trick. Last trick, right? Barley grind and like switch shove it over the the, yeah, the SD spot. That no, was yeah, no, the old still. school one. But uh, I like we did the switch blunt, switch flip out. But yeah. it's good, man. The yeah, it is good. Backing them like Jack. Well, because he's from uh, Minneapolis, mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I would think that would be weird. They turn him pro in Phoenix, Arizona. No, I just thought it'd be a good thing. Yeah, that they might do. What else we got, Kelly? What else is in there? Well, uh, Skate Mental, this, like, it's kind of cool these drop these random videos. Mm-hmm. Pretty rad. But Adrian Del Campo, that's my boy, and he is the fucking... Is that the Nolly Hill dude? Yep. He's fucking sick. He's so dope. Yeah. And what was the name good. of the video? Aunt Tammy. Volume 2. Wait, was the first one Aunt? What was the first one? Aunt, Aunt Tammy? Tammy? Yeah. Was Aunt Tammy one? Is that one? the one with the Jake Anderson? <laughs> uh, no, Jake was in this one. Oh. The first Volume one. The first one. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what, yeah, no music, right? Yeah. I remember like when I used to go on trips a lot, like uh, the sound of skateboarding could like very well, um, I, maybe I was hung over, whatever, be at a skate spot. It, I could fall asleep yeah. and I'm not really good hmm. at falling asleep, but like that sound, I remember if you had like a, a app that was like skate sounds, like it was just like all the skating on there or it would be like pool skating. Or it would be like, you know, whatever. Develop you know? the app, bro. Oh, man. Or just move. You should move <laughs> above a skate park. Yeah. Or that. Well, I'll do I'll go to, I'll move to Woodward. She <laughs> live in a skate park. <laughs> I'll hear people escape by my house at night and I'll wake up. It, it sounds kind of cool, though, when like, you yeah. run to the window and look who it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, it's just Blake. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a good sound, though. What else we got, Kelly? Anything else? Well, it was a bunch of stuff. I wanted to say something, too. Go uh, ahead. Go ahead. I thought it was really cool. Tony Tave came out with a banging on the barracks. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it was, that was really, sick. It was so. I mean, he's he's been holding it down for a long time. He's a, and he's still been jumping down stuff. How does he do that? 
Dude, Nolly big flip the bump over the over the bar over the handrail. Yeah, that was crazy. Dude, yeah. oh yeah. the corner pocket thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Some people just kind of you know the very like, kind of like varial. Justin did when Justin used to jump a lot, and now he kind of doesn't jump anymore. Yeah, that you stop that yeah. after a while. Yeah. And he just like didn't stop. Throw your back out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you, you get hurt doing that yeah. shit. <laughs> No, I was no, the kidding. switch varial flip. Yeah, that was fucking gnarly. Yeah, so it's just kind of cool to frame like just come out of, and not only were to heel flip to fakey on like the, on the quarter pipe. Yeah, over so the head. That was yeah. good. Sick. It's just yeah. cool to like you know he mm-hmm. comes out and just kind of gets everyone's sights. Oh, you know? yeah, he's big rad. Fan, big fan yeah. of Tony. Oh, uh, whoa! I got something. What do you got? Whoa! What's that? But, I got uh, a guest board um, from the good people at. Uh, Killing floor. Look at nice. that. Look at that. Special guest. <laughs> Special guest. <laughs> Special guest. It's a sick graphic. That's dope, dude. There Thank you. you. Go. What's That's that good. graphic from? It looks like an album cover. It's from the song we use in the mouse video. Oh. Favorite video, by the way. Brothers on the side. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. By, uh, what's that group's name? <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember? <laughs> yeah, it starts with a C, Daniel. Simon L. How do you say it? C-Y-M-A-N-D. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> okay, give, give me that thing. It's <laughs> a nice board, though, Dan. Thank Look you. That. Thank huh? you. Thank you, Killing Floor. We'll put it in. Dan, hey, Edit Daniel's got out. a chocolate board right now, too. Oh, yeah. I do have a chocolate board. You got, like, boards yeah. going okay. on right now. But, yeah, okay, that board will be out. I mean, it's out already. It and co- then the chocolate board will come out, you know. The chocolate board's out. Uh, it, oh, it actually, chocolate board? They're doing a one oh, like the, that? No, the, they're doing a... The chocolate tour one? Chocolate, chocolate tour. tour board. Oh, We're all on it. Right, and a shirt. Right, right. And a shirt. It looks sick. And then sick. that board. And then I'll have two boards, two different companies. Oh, hey, who's this? Hey, this is Jared from Omaha, Nebraska. Jared? From? Omaha, Nebraska? Omaha? Who, who, am I talking to Chris Roberts right now? Yeah, man. Who else do you think you're talking to? <laughs> and Justin Eldridge and Kelly Hart oh and Dan Castillo. Oh, my God, dude. Fucking Rod- Crob and Kelly. Roger Bagley. Who else is there? Uh, LD. Uh, of course, Rod D- is there. Daniel Castillo. I live here. <laughs> Man, we're just Daniel saying, Castillo in there, man? <laughs> I know I'm here. This is so sick. Long time watcher, man. I've been trying to call forever. Oh, really? Long nice. time, huh? Oh, yeah, dude. Team Raj all day. Oh. Yeah, I've been trying to fish for calls. Come and on. you Uh-oh. know, <laughs> it's a shame that you it took so long for you to get on because <laughs> you know, I'm better. Crop, I'll, I'll, crop, I'll hang up on you. What? Right away, man. Please. What? Please don't do it, man. Don't hang up because I said it. Well, bro, you need to you need to watch your mouth, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no, man, no, no, no! I'm just kidding. J- anything going on tonight that you want to talk to us about, or what's happening in Omaha? Anything Honestly, in, in? I don't know. I've been trying to call in for so long, and I was always thinking of questions. But now that I'm here, I'm pretty much drawing a blank, man. But okay. I just want to say you guys are killing it. Thank you, bro. Do you watch the show, the, the the Nine yeah. Club all the time? Every Monday, man. Really? And Thursday. Do you think Sick. you do you yeah, think dude, you, do you course, think you'd man. know some uh, some trivia if we uh, played a little game with you? Oh shit! <laughs> if, you, if you want to play a trivia game, I might know some answers, bro. Yeah. Well, listen, man. If you uh, if you watch every episode, if you watch every episode, you'll probably uh, get the, the get. It, you know what? We'll send you a nice nine club box Ooh. of goodies if you win. There you go. No shit. I yeah. Would love some goodies, <laughs> you got to pay for shipping though. Omaha's gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dog. That's Come on. It costs dog. like ten bucks. <laughs> yeah. What do you want? You're you gonna go broke over here sending shit to Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> Man, man, come on. We're a non-profit over here. <laughs> I know, Jared. Come on, bro. Help, uh, help yeah. us out a little bit, Ro- man. Raj, go get a fucking job. Then you can afford shipping, bro. <laughs> wow. Damn. I like this Team guy. Raj. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay, Jared. You ready to play this game? I'm ready to play, man. Okay, this is a game called Who Said It? All right, Jared. Okay. Chris is really excited because oh, yeah. he finally gets some cards. Right, got some cards. <laughs> so he's knocking them on the table. He's <laughs> look at that. We're legit, bro. Yeah. We're legit. Listen, Jerry, pro- <laughs> professional. Jared, listen, bro. Okay. Get you need to get you need to get three out of five to win. Okay. You get three of these, three out okay. of five, okay. and you win the game. There's a total. Here we'll start with number one. This is uh, this is just a um, little gimme. This is a gimme. This is a this is a freebie. Okay. We're just gonna practice. Okay. All right. All right. All right. This All right. is uh, a. This is just a practice one. A little up. warm up. A little warm up. Yeah. You don't get any points for this. All right. All right. Warm me up. Okay. Here we go. 
Here, who said who said this on a Nine Club episode? Ready? Uh huh. Just like the guy from Men's Warehouse, you're gonna like the way it looks. I guarantee it. <laughs> I guarantee it. Uh, I know this. Think one. about this, Jerry. That? That was... No, you know what? You know what's really fucked up is I remember someone saying that, and I remember laughing when they said it too. Yeah. Well, think back. Listen, man. Listen to it again. Just like the guy from Men's Warehouse, you're gonna like the way it looks. I oh, guarantee. Oh, Ty Evans, bro. Uh, uh, damn. Mom. Oh no way! Damn it. Beagle. Shake John. It was a filmer. <laughs> Beagle said it. Oh, Beagle. It. Okay, well, that, good thing that was just a good, that was a good thing that was just a warm up. <laughs> I actually knew that one, oh, Jared. Right, let's well, start. Let, let's start the game, Jared. These this is this one counts, okay? All right. All right, ready? Let's do it. Okay. Best who, out of five. Who said it? Best out of five, right here. You need to get three right, okay? Okay. All right. All right, Jared. Ruth's Chris is my McDonald's. Oh my! I know who God. said that one. <laughs> I know, man. Think about it. That Wait, should be a shirt. Who said that one? I really don't know that one. Ruth's Chris is my McDonald's. <laughs> what's Ruth? What's Ruth's Chris? That's, what is that? Wow, it's a stay. It's a it's gourmet steakhouse. steakhouse. Who's out there going to gourmet steakhouses like it's McDonald's? Right? What yeah. the fuck? Uh, Think about that, was Jared. It, was it P. Rod? Dude? Is this your final answer? All right, man. I'll just. I'll, yeah, P. Rod. Sure. No, no. Stevie Williams. Damn it! I knew it. Episode forty-four. Oh, Stevie yeah. Williams. Damn. That was yeah, a good one. That, that was, was a great Bruce episode. Chris yeah, is yeah. his McDonald's. That was a good one. Bro. Okay, Jared, no worries, though, bro. We no need to make that into a shirt. Here all we right, go. Right. This one's a little, you can maybe get this one, okay? Who said it? The owl from Jupiter sent me. Think about that, Jared. The owl, it's, it's, <laughs> think it's about be a how, kid, right? think about how bizarre that statement is. The guest was talking about a stalker. Yeah, it really is, man. Oh, yeah. That's bam all day. Listen, you got one right. You got to get two more right. Listen, this one you better get. Okay, this is a good one. This is almost a quote that went viral. I don't know about viral. Did you say it? It was good. I liked it a lot. I don't know about Okay. Not, not as viral as Krob still trick, but There you kinda. go. There you go. I like, I like this guy. <laughs> okay. Ready? Who said it, Jared? Ready? If, ready. if you're a skateboarder... You know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you're just somebody who skateboards. Grosso, man. Yeah. Very there nice, dude. Grosso, wow. Man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I right. that one That's a few quick. times. Grosso's the man, bro. Yeah. Episode 85, mm -hmm. Daniel. Ep ep 85. He answered that pretty quick. Right. Oh, listen, bro. You're you want to do one, bonus? You're one. What? Should we do a bonus point for if you can get guess the, uh, the episode number? Jesus Christ. We don't have all night, Rosh. <laughs> <laughs> what, how many questions are there right now? We got five. We got two questions left. Okay. He's got two right. Oh, Ooh. you have to get three? Got to get, right. get three. Good I think you'll get this next. I, one. I think he's got it, dude. If you don't get this next one, Jared, you got to send us some shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll send you my backup. A box of Omaha's <laughs> finest. Okay, listen. Yeah, Who exactly. said it? Who said it? For the culture. For the culture. Who would have said it? Oh, it? It was Booch Johnson. Nope. Is that your final oh, answer? Man. Oh man! This is this is uh -huh. this is a pivotal moment, Jared, because the next one is super. All right. It's pretty hard. You want to tell him who that was? Brian Wenning. Mm. Wenning. Of the fucking course, God damn it. Brian Wenning. Not, <laughs> the culture, not losing. That's like his thing. Yeah, dude. yeah. You guys, you guys got me nervous, man. Episode fifty-three. Episode fifty-three. Okay, this one, Jared, bro. You Wayne, may, you may need to f was a really good episode, by the way. Thank you. That yeah, was great. Um, this is for the win. Really good this is for the win, and you may need to phone a friend. Okay. Right, one more. Who said it? Ready? <laughs> that laugh's good. Borscht is the taste of love. <laughs> <laughs> Borscht is a taste of love, man. Borscht is a soup that's made from... Uh, what, what country is that for? Russia? No. Yeah, it's like Eastern European. Yeah, it's like a reddish soup colored soup. Huh. Is, it, it's, it's, is it beets? Is that what I it was? It's, Maybe beets. it's like a beet soup. Yeah. Yeah. Beets. Yo, Colin. Hey. Which, he's phoning, which he's one phoning of a friend. There you go. About borscht. Beet soup. Come on, man. You know beet soup. <laughs> 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 I want that box, man, but I don't think I know the last answer. Oh, Damn it. <sighs> Just take a... I'm, I'm sorry. Go on a God. whim. Go on a whim and just take a guess, bro. Yeah, I I really don't know it, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Damn well, it, it was it was Eli Reed, episode forty. Really wanted to know uh, about. Yeah. Eli really. Reed. Well, listen, Jared, bro. At least you got on the show. 
At least you talked. <laughs> no. At least you talked to Dude, us. This was the most fun I've ever had, man. I swear to God. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You guys have a great fucking night. All right, keep this shit up. Y'all are killing it. You know the drill, man. Thanks, dude. Later, Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Give us a little laugh on the way up. Well, you like his laugh. I huh? did. I thought it was funny. Every time go. he's cracked up on it. Yeah. Uh, that, was um, that was a good game, though, Chris. That was good. Oh, yeah. Wow. You like that game. Yeah, I do. Cool. Do you have more questions, or is that the only one? No, that's the only one. Oh, okay. Well, that's the yeah. first person that walked away with nothing on the show. That's uh, right. Really? That's right. Because, I, because I, told, I told Raj not to help people yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, he still did it. You might as well have said his father's name is uh, Phil, and his mom's name's April. <laughs> Phil Phillips. <laughs> What else we got in the news? We got some man. good stuff. A lot of stuff yeah. happened this a, oh. last two weeks. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, the new Huff video dropped. That was good. Wow. That was good. Good, good. That one. That's a good, that's like a good length to keep in the good skateboarding. Yeah. Gets you psyched to go skate. Pretty rad. A lot of good guys in there. Bledsoe had some good stuff. When Bledsoe came on, I was just like, who's this new kid? And I didn't realize it was him because I didn't notice his glasses. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm still not used to like not seeing one of mm-hmm. his glasses oh. on. Austin Gillette. Oh yeah, that was yeah. rather see. Nolly two seventy f- front nose. Mm-hmm. Brad Cromer. Yeah. Brad Cromer. Maybe a huff part next. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Keith. Ooh. Can we get s- out there? But uh, no. Thank you for putting that out, Huff. That was. A That's good sick. gift to the skate industry, right there. Anything else, Kelly? What do we got? Oh well, I just <laughs> want to say Grant Taylor is just like. Oh yeah. Um, it. He's always been killing it, but dude, these videos. He's like the best. He is literally the best. He's like the best style I've ever seen. Do you think he's a uh, Sodi? I mean, it's only March, but yes, he is definitely. He hasn't in the won one? He already did. Yeah, he won one. Yeah. Has anybody won twice? Danny Way. Yeah. Danny Way. Chris, uh, uh, Cole. Chris, yeah, Chris Cole. Chris Cole. Did two? Yeah. Yeah. Two wow. years in a row or just uh, uh, staggered? I think it was staggered. Staggered. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Remember when that year everyone thought Guy was going to get it? Everyone thought oh, yeah. Guy I was going to take Guy it. Guy hasn't won the Skater of the Year. Guy thing. should get Skater of like Skater of the Decade forever. or something, whatever you know. Yeah. But also Grant Taylor was in um, the Go- Nike SB18, right? Yeah. Oh, Spitfire like, thing that just came out. Spitfire and uh, yeah, he's killing it. He's good. He's the man. But he's like, like he was skating like really Tampa good. Pro, and it was just like when you watch in person, man, it's just like he just floats. Yeah, and he had like. There was like a. Uh, he looks like he's like snowboarding. Sh- yeah, kind of. Like he just flows. Yeah. But yeah. dude, pop shove it a uh, nose bonk. So fucking pop sick. shove it. Did. Yeah. But it was actually cool to see also like a uh, BA in the. Oh, yeah. In the Super Nike cool. Thing. Yeah. It's sick that Nike did a collab with Anti Hero. So sick. Yeah, they both had colorways. So it was like Grant Taylor had a little a colorway okay. and then Brian Anderson right. had one. I thought the Brooklyn Banks were like done. You know, I, I hear that they're done, and then I see footage, no, and there's, then there's a fence there, and I think people can still sneak through the fence. Oh, gotcha. And they've okay. been cleaning it up, I think. Oh, yeah? yeah. The skaters have or the city? I have no idea. Yeah. What about the other spot? I mean, the one that used to skate over the wall? You know, the bump over the wall everyone skated back in the day? That's yeah, but that's got to be long gone, right? Well, the, the fence is gone, but people still used to skate the banks, though. Or is that just completely gone? It's still there. Yeah. That one was barriers are no, I think they I'm, not, I'm not sure. Yeah, they like, oh, have all these right. barriers there. I think yeah. it's barriers. That's right. Yeah. I just haven't been there for they a They closed all that off because I think they're working on the bridge. Um, and also they're using it for like parking for the police department or something uh-huh. like that. Oh. Did you watch the blind uh, United Nations? Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, but did you? Did you? Did you? I like that Daniel's actually like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. Utah's fucking good. Dude. He's really, dude. Yeah. He's Switch about. sugar cane. He could so do backside sugar cane. That Anyone that me, could do a McTwist and then could do like a front crook on a ledge is yeah. pretty fucking good. That's I just wish it was Morgan Smith footage in there. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, that was yeah, Morgan Smith. Yeah. Uh, amazing, but yeah, they what they just added uh, Jordan Maxham right to mm-hmm. the team. That was the way they did it. it. Was just it was just in that. It's the very beginning, yeah. Hey, you know what's crazy though? Real quick to go <laughs> back to <laughs> go, Phoenix Sam. Go ahead. There was this one dude. He's from uh, Tampa. His name's Jake Alardi, I think. And there's like a huge core pipe there. And it was the first time I ever seen anyone just like did a huge 540, and I was like, holy sh. That was insane. Comes back around to this big hubba, double set hubba, and this back 180 fakie 50. And I was like, Jesus. What? what? How? Like, what to the yeah, combo? You yeah, you know what I mean? Like, how do you do that? That's like that Zion. Zion, Zion. Yeah. yeah. Like, do dude. everything. God. Yeah. But the Florida dudes are just like. Was Zion in the Phoenix Sam? He's, he's pro, pro now, he's pro, dude. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter, bro. No <laughs> Wait, he has no a board rules. out, yeah. though, right? Yeah. He has a board. Chris has the skaters talking, but just he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> no, there's no rules anymore. <laughs> Jaeger, <laughs> Jaeger's in Tampa Pro. <laughs> Jagger. The whole thing. <laughs> I can't wait to have fucking Jagger on the show one day. Oh, I'd love to have him on. He's a great kid. <laughs> hey, what about the um, the front crook that that dude does in um, 
Oh, the skate mental? Yeah. Oh, Around yeah, that long-ass rail. The yellow one? Yeah. yeah. What's the name? George, Georgie or Georgia? I or? don't know. He there's, looked like he was, like, surprised. There right now. Yeah, there's a lot of Europeans on there. Was there's no stab cool. footage, was there? No. no. Dude. He's probably going to talk shit on me. Stabba <laughs> <laughs> hates you. He probably does. Yeah, for sure. Why does he Why? hate you? Because I look like him. <laughs> <laughs> really oh, uncanny yeah. resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> uncanny. No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea. Someone told me that when I was younger. They're like, you look like Brad Stabba. And I was like, whoa, that's, that's crazy. We got to break this up and take a call, man. Right. This, is, <laughs> this is crazy. What's up? This is Corey from Maryland. Corey from Maryland. Uh, We've talked to you before, right, bro? Yeah, we just chatted. Now, well, you know, we're talking about some news, you know, the, the, I don't know if you watched any of the videos, Nike SB 18, Spitfire Ecuador Hell Ride that just came out, the uh, Blind United Nations, any of those uh, ringing a bell? I did. I watched the anti-hero Nike. Oh. You watch, uh, you watch any of the Blind United Nations or anything? You know, they just uh, added Jordan Maxham to the team. I haven't seen that yet. I have two questions, though. Go ahead. They can be quick, if that's cool. Go ahead. Go for it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have a question for Roger. Yep. Wondering what your thoughts are on that new Trans World series, the Skate Hoarders, kind of similar to Raiders the Archives that you did with Skateboarder Mag. Just wondering what your thoughts were there. It's cool. I just did it better. Oh, wow. <laughs> Always about Roger. No, no. Oh. Jamie, o Jamie Owens is actually the one that kind of came up with Raiders. And Jamie Owens works at Transworld. So uh, Skate Hoarders is like, it I knew they were eventually going to do that. Yeah. Gotcha. Thanks for calling, man. <laughs> Corey. Yeah, absolutely. Take care, guys. Thanks, Thanks you, dude. Thanks, Thank Corey. <laughs> Anything else, Kelly? Uh, <laughs> hey, my boy, my boy Tom Acid dropped some little footy the other that day. That part was amazing. He's so fucking gnarly. Yeah, man, dude. Guy. How's he, he so good? He just, he's just him. He's just good, dude. Fuck. Oh, let me just tell you, he looks better with that, with the no hair. Hey, yeah, that's cool, right? Yeah. yeah. It's a good little thing. Not he, that he looked bad with the hair, but yeah, he was just, he's just, he's just, he's just tuck it up, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's just tuck it up, right? True. But, true. dude, it probably feels so much better without having sure. any of that hair. Lighter. But he's, yeah. But, you know, he, he, Colder. he just came out. Raj filmed some of that footage, too. Yeah. That, that show was like a year old. I know. But it's, some of it's brand new, too. So, but what, let me ask you, what was it, what was that for? Was it for his, uh, yes, two colorways out for, uh, okay. Yeah. Because the, the commercial didn't have his shoe at the end or didn't have any. It was it, just like, the, that was, it was just a little. It was really just like Tom has some footage ready to go. And okay. he has more yeah. too. But I was like, let's just do something really cool and quick. Right. Just. It was, I liked there was no music. Yeah. It was just, it was good to see. Dude. Yeah. It surprised people. And it's it kind of like, great. oh, cool. Yeah. It was great. So he, good. he is like the prime example of like someone that, I don't want to say, it's hard to say this, but. <clears throat> The, pretty what, perfect on a skateboard what he puts out on Instagram oh, fucks up skateboarding <laughs> like <laughs> there, there is no like oh I'm gonna put out a video part like no Tom Asta already fucking did everything on his Instagram uh -huh. yeah. like you know but then I mean? he puts like, out his video parts which is yeah I'm just saying yeah. like to yeah. the normal people like he fucks shit up so gnarly and it's fun to watch too it's, it's amazing it's, it's he, so amazing he's, yeah. he's very precise yeah. and does he do it all like is he he's pretty first try -y. He, yeah, he does things pretty fast. He's pretty he, consistent, right? When really I see him skate at the at the sand gaps, yeah. it was crazy. And he yeah. did that line that was super long line. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, yo, he's coming back. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. You know, and he started from pretty far too. I was like, dude, he's coming back. Yeah, it's gnarly. Yeah, it, it, dude, they, the one thing laps. that's fun with him yeah. is that if he goes out and like tries to film, it's pretty fun. Even with Roger, I'm sure I did it with him. Is like you kind of just you kind of can push him on his tell own skateboarding do, not yeah. tell him what to do we give him ideas and he's like oh yeah and then he'll just do yeah, a little he'll take it and yeah. go even further yeah with it. and yeah. he does it uh yeah so tom asta's uh really good part you know what i think we should do though actually <laughs> this guy um, is insane we should uh <laughs> crazy you know uh, 35th north we talked about oh, yeah. uh, on, a, on another show that mm -hmm. the city was uh trying to it's sue good them for up in seattle mm -hmm. almost six digits uh six digit figures right they were trying to sue them for uh because they uh well, it was some contest they were doing, and they, they built a little bowl in this, like, a duck pond. Uh, no, it was on an island. It was an island. Oh, an island. Yeah. Oh, I told them to make it into a duck pond, and the ducks yeah. would be fine. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but I guess, um, you know, we wanted to uh, reach out to, uh, to Tony mm -hmm. over yeah. at uh, yeah. 35th North and uh, see what's going on over there. Right you know on. I mean, I think they, uh, maybe they hashed everything out or something. I don't Make know. Make you a settlement, I think. 
That's what I heard. Let's see. Hello. Hello. Is this Tony? This is Tony. Tony, man. This is. Uh, this <laughs> you is... sound exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What's going on with you tonight, bro? Uh, it is a little late, bro. Yeah. You probably got to open the shop up early in the morning. That's right. I'm a I'm a go getter. I'm a real businessman. I love it. Mm. I'm the crack of dawn, working out. Oh, oh, know. really? Damn. Oh. No, thanks for the call. I'm still. <laughs> 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 I wish. No, but we thought we'd give you a call, and uh, because you know the 35th. But by the way, bro. Thank you so much for the uh, the pizza. The pizza. Oh, we so good! Shirts. Enjoyed it a lot. I was so I was so bummed that I had to share it with like Justin and Kelly, but it was, <laughs> it was good. I don't even need pizza. It was no, really that good. Shit. That was that. I felt like that was the least I could do, because I oh. mean it's been like what like forty hours of enter- free entertainment. So <laughs> I think, uh, Maybe more than that. Yeah. Hey, if uh, if the if the shop is uh, if they have if we have a really good summer. Oh, well, next time I'll get you a lobster dinner. So. Ooh. Wow. Well, we'll send everybody to your shop, man. What's your website? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, but everything good up there, man. I, you guys were having a little uh, issue with the city, and I don't know if you saw our episode. I, I told them to just make that bowl a duck pond, and everybody would be happy. You know, the ducks would <laughs> yeah. be happy, and the I mean, duck what... city would be happy. And... Yes. Eventually, that probably is what it would have become. Okay. Uh, no, but it was well, very... Actually, you know what? Most likely... It would have fallen apart. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. But no, very um, crazy situation up there, though. Crazy with the city and everything. It's they they kind of came after you. What was the story behind all that? Well, it was um, basically, let me first explain the, the Duck Island. So yes. Basically, north of downtown in Seattle's metropolis, it's like the biggest park in the city. It's about a three-mile lake, and people run around it every day. There's thousands of people there. Mm-hmm. In the middle of the lake is a little island okay. called Ooh. Duck Island. Um, so we, uh, people know it, and I've grown up here, and it's always like, oh, there's that little island out there. And people probably, you know, they swim out there, they'll eat a sandwich, or kids will sneak out there at night and smoke weed on it, or oh, there you mm-hmm. go. whatever. It's <laughs> okay. just a little island in the middle of a lake. Um, so... Saying that, um, there was a DIY contest. Mm-hmm. So Nike Transworld had this do-it-yourself contest, and they invited us into it, and I said, okay. Um, I kind of would like put it off and let someone else kind of handle it, and I realized we weren't doing anything, and then eventually I got an email like, hey, your edit's due Sunday, oh. and it's Friday. So I'm like, oh, God, we got to do something. I don't want to just tell these guys, like, oh, we didn't do nothing. Uh-huh. Um, so we had these tennis courts right near the shop, like these popular tennis courts. And I was like, yo, let's just build a few benches. Um, and we'll film an edit on it Saturday, and then we'll uh, turn it into them Sunday. Well, let's just do something. There you go. And uh, these these few kids came in the shop as I'm, trying, as I'm thinking about all this. And the kids who came in the shop just happened to be like, I mean, the most ambitious group of kids I know. I mean, these guys are next level. Ski right? Right. Yeah. Just as an just as an example, we watch these guys like leave the shop, literally pushing from the shop, and they skated to Mexico. Not one car, just pushed to Mexico because they, they skated to Mexico. You know, like you guys are in Seattle. Yeah, they skated from Seattle. Straight to Mexico. Jesus. Not one car. What? Whoa. Insane. <laughs> Straight to the donkey and show. That that's like that's like one story on top of tons of stories. These kids live in a vert ramp. They're, they're, their bedrooms are literally built into this these sides of a vert ramp and keeping they just it real. do cool stuff. They're dedicated. The <laughs> they're, they're dedicated. <laughs> Seriously. Wow, super, that's amazing. They're super rad. Okay. Uh, what are, what so are anyways, these guys' age in, though? Like, what are they how old are these guys? Uh, they're in their, like, uh, mid-20s. Okay, okay you know, gotcha. Okay. From, like, early 20s to mid-20s. Um, and they came in the shop, and they're like, perfect. I was like, guys, I need, like, just a couple benches made. We're going to go to these courts. We'll film and edit. You guys can do this for me real quick. I'll give you this gift card from Nike to build the stuff. Mm-hmm. And I heard them go. They were just the first thing. There's only three guys in the shop. And they're like, bowl on Duck Island. And I was like, <laughs> I don't think I knew that place was called Duck Island. Okay. I was like, I don't know. Well, you're talking about a bowl, but I need some benches built at the tennis courts, like across the street. Okay. And they're kind of laughing. I'm like, just, we can, you know, we'll, you can build anything and we can bring, we can film you building something and we'll just use the benches that are already there. Like, we'll just make this easy. Yeah. And they're just kind of like, yeah, whatever. So anyways, next day we, uh, I'm just getting up and getting breakfast, headed, I think to 
the store or something, I get a text, and all I see is the bowl is done. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. How? Do you think they've I'm already been working on going it? like, the bowl? Yeah, so, like, and then in comes the photo right after it, and it's, like, this freestanding, like, little bowl with, like, a like a hip in it. That's amazing. On that amazing. little island. Okay. And I was sick. just like, what? How is that possible? So, like, right. these dudes, they took... They I took can't believe the, the concrete the gift card cured that fast. Though. Well, it didn't cure that fast. We had to let it, we called, we told the guys at the contest, like, hey, we need a few extra days. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think we're going to win this contest, like, for sure. <laughs> so, but then they, uh, basically, they just took that card, called their homies, left the shop, rented a U-Haul, went to Home Depot, bought as much concrete as they could, plus some more, mm -hmm. in the middle of the night, drive through a city park all the way up to the, the, uh, the coast, the mm -hmm. coastline. And they found, they found an old, uh, they found an old kayak in, someone's, in front of someone's house. So they took that and they so put, sick. They loaded it up with a concrete and just floated out over How this concrete. Wow. Kayak. No one thought that. With concrete. So they, they get it all over there mm -hmm. and then they go back to a 24 hour cafe that's like right across the street from it <laughs> and where they give you crayons and a piece of paper and they drop the plants. That's wow. wow. <laughs> it seems Look to be a little It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, throw that shit up on the wall because that's what they do when you're done with your picture. Go back out there and just go to work. And they use all the water they had was just mixed in from the lake. And, oh my you know, gosh. Blah, blah, blah. They, they did awesome. it. They just pulled it off. Like just it was 15 hours straight of wow. just working. Man. So, yeah. So I'm tripping. I'm like, okay, first of all, this is nuts. And second of all, this has to win. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys just, <laughs> this is crazy. So, you know, it is it is what it is. They let it cure for a few days, make the edit. Of course, we turn it in, and everyone's like, this is crazy. You guys are nuts. And I'm like, well, these kids are nuts. Yeah. Um, and everything seemed okay. I mean, it was like their faces weren't blurred out. It was just a thing. And, like, maybe, like, 30 days pass, uh -huh. and someone from the local news walks into the store and is like, hey, so we're doing a little story about that skate park on Duck Island. And I was like, oh, fuck wow. i was like uh, i don't know what you're talking about really <laughs> like we just think it's cool and i was like yeah i don't know um i don't have a comment and then later on on the news it was like illicit skate park on the duck on wow. the green lake and it was this big deal wow it was yeah. in and then it was on the cover of the seattle times the very next day the cover holy and shit and i've got reporters calling the store and all this stuff just like what did we just Jesus. Step into? So the news was almost trying to bamboozle yeah. you into like telling your side of the story oh. without mm -hmm. telling you that they're doing like a an expose yeah <laughs> yeah oh for sure it was it was 100 percent. like when i saw it i was like that lady was so full of shit right i knew it i was like oh god okay so now so you've got everybody Kansas calling you and and, and, and this it. it's this thing's blowing up what what happens next um, I freak out a little. Yeah. And <laughs> I, uh, basically, we just like, I honestly just like, I think I pulled the phone cord out. I was like, that's my wow. phone. Someone comes in here. I'm not here. Don't talk to him. Uh, wow. And then just let it lie. I was just like, all right, let this lie. It'll go. It's just some news article. Mm -hmm. Whatever. It'll so die down. A few more days. We don't have to worry about this. So people are going out there skating, whatever. We're like, all right, week five, things seem cool. Week six, things, things seem cool. And then it was just, I'm at the store, pick up the phone, and it's Seattle Times again. Like, what do you think about the city suing you for oh, six digits? Shit. And I was like, what? How'd they pay on you? I'm like, I didn't know about that. Um, because they just, because our logo was on the video, oh. um, I think that was their big tie to it. Because mm -hmm. they never did an official, there was never an official investigation. They never called the store to find out the story. They never reached out to us once. Right. Yeah. So I think their lawyers were just like, looked at the case and said, hey, legally, no matter what, we can tie this skate shop to this because the logo was on the video. Yeah. Wow. I get it. So I don't yeah. think they cared. Yeah. So like, even if we told them, which we did, like, hey, we didn't tell them to do that. And they're like, well, we don't care. Right. Like, hmm. well, that sucks. That's insane. So they, um, so they call you and so now you're, you're, finding out that, too. you're finding out they're suing you from the, the Times. Yeah, I found out from the reporter at the Seattle Times calling me. Crazy. Okay. Um, yeah, and I didn't get the, I finally got the papers, like, served, I think they served us, like, three, like, maybe three days after. Wow. And we're just sitting around waiting to see the actual um, complaint. And it was up, they said it's 
up to the lower six digits, which technically technically meant up to three hundred thousand dollars. And, and, and are, what are you are you thinking in the back of your head like we're done, like this shop's going to close, like this is we're we're done, or did you kind of have were you <laughs> thinking mean, optimistically, or what what was going through your mind when all this was happening? I mean, you were getting served these papers, you know, with this low three digit, I mean six digit. Uh -huh. Well, I definitely, well, first thing is obviously call lawyers. Yeah. And I talked to a few different lawyers, and two of them were like, this is ridiculous, and one of them's like, eh, they kind of got you by the balls. And of course, the oh. one that said that was like the one I couldn't afford. Right. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to go with a guy who seems to think we'll be okay. <laughs> uh, but we, you know, the, guy, the Seattle Times actually in the comments section was like 80% pro us. That's oh, okay. percent pro. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah. so most people are like, this is ridiculous. You know, like, what are you doing? Mm. Um so, and I think it was, I think maybe the city kind of saw maybe some optic switching and then they realized like they were trying to get us, they thought the kids did not rip out one plant. They did not dig one hole. Everything was built above, the ground. Yeah. above ground. So there was really like, it was hard because they were going to have to claim all this damage that they just never did. Right. And wow. most of that is like weird timber laws and things that like bump up these crazy fines. Okay. So eventually when we came, when the city came to us and they're like, they just said, "Hey, we'll we'll settle this for fifty thousand dollars." Oh, and I, we were like, "No, that's oh. not good." Like, Still, yeah, fifty G's. So we ended up going through the negotiation period, and then, um, and then there was some more. There was a Vice article that came out, and there was a little more press. And I think it was just looking like an ugly situation for everybody. Right, it's always it really ugly silly. when gets involved. You know, it's really, yeah, totally. So I think. Uh, when we came down, we just eventually got him down to thirty thousand mm. dollars, and just decided to go. Let's go ahead and just settle this. It gets everybody off the hook. Right. You know, the city spent seven thousand dollars removing the obstacle. Well, it's, it's frustrating. They called it a skate park, and it was like this tiny, tiny bowl. Right. But um, <laughs> you guys got to went there and destroy uh, yourselves. They got their extra money. Yeah, I mean, if it costs so seven grand for them to take it out, what is? I mean, what's the it, rest? Right? Pain and suffering. I mean, oh, well, well. court. And they, I don't know. Legal? But it was just kind of that thing yeah. of like, trial would suck, and you know, like even though we think we could probably win, there's still that argument of their logos on the video. You never know. You know, like that's the legal so argument there. Probably so probably, if you went through all the way, it probably would have cost you more than thirty grand with l legal fees and attorneys and all this shit, right? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, exactly. No. Huh. Yeah, and I'm just. You know, I'm also, I've talked to, this is, the rad part was, as I'm going through this, I also, like, we've been in business for, like, close to 20 years, yeah. like, half my life, huh. so, I'm sitting there freaking out, but meanwhile, like, this industry, the skateboard industry, is rad, like, I was getting phone calls, you know, like, good support and advice from Patello at Thrasher and Thibaut calling, like, yo, we got your back, and, sick. you know, like, Vans calling, DC calling, like, That's sick. all these brands, so I'm feeling good, we're at, like, $30,000, I'm like, you know what, like, I think we're good. Like we'll be able to make the money to pay this off, and everyone can just talk and walk away from it. Oh, wow. uh, and with saying that too, though, like there was the Nike's gotten a bad rap for it, but they really did have they had a ton of support for it. Like I've known those guys at SB for fifteen years, and okay, uh, they care about the shop, and they definitely stepped up and showed support. And we're going to do some really cool stuff for the skate scene and for the shop so um i was just stoked that it's like that relationship's good if any business was to or any company was to throw us under the bus we would tell them to fuck off but right. we didn't have to do that with them they, okay. they, they stepped up and did all the right stuff to help us out so it ended up being like a good situation overall like yeah but I mean, everyone's safe. Everything's good. The shop's gonna be the shop's as strong as ever. So sick. We're stoked. Well, that's what I was gonna say. I mean, like yeah. you know, thirty grand is still a lot of money. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So it is. are you yeah. are you guys coming out of pocket for this, or are you trying to do like a GoFundMe thing, or are skate companies coming in and helping? Or I mean, how? Are, what um, are you... I mean, we've got we've we set up a payment schedule with the city. Okay. But with some of the things that we've have planned right now, um, and with the support of the brands and stuff it's okay. not something that we need to go fund me for okay it's oh. something we've got figured out and dialed in so Good. we're gonna be we're gonna be just fine like the shop but the shop's gonna be totally safe oh good so, good yeah. Awesome. yeah and that's just because i think we you know if this was a if we were some <clears throat> random neighborhood baseball store or 
some other store that did something that was a stunt. I mean, I don't think they would have Come gotten the support we got. So right. I kind of chalk it up to like having a business in a, when it really comes down to it in a, in a rad industry that's willing to support its people. So yeah, I man. Understand. Well, I'm glad you guys got some, I'm glad, well, I'm glad you guys got it settled and I'm glad you, you guys are got support from the industry and everything. Cause we, I was bummed when that happened, man. I mean, like you said, 20 years in business and oh. this whole, like mm-hmm. it's a, you know, us who don't know what's going on, you know, it, it's a, it sucks, man. Yeah. It's a fucked up situation. Oh, and I had that that was, a, I couldn't talk about it. And the worst thing to do is like, we have people coming in, like, are you guys going out of business? Like every single day. Yeah. Fuck. Like, no, That's but we can't really talk about this. Out there. Let's just get to the end. Yeah. Totally. So now we just want to like spread the word. Like, Hey, we were never going out of business. And in fact, we're doing great. So there you go. <laughs> We I can mean, all get past this, and everyone who everyone who was concerned, like it's so awesome, like we're so stoked, like locally and yeah. get outside of the community, just the people that showed support, it was awesome. Right. I'm glad you're doing great, man, because that lobster dinner is going to taste <laughs> oh. excellent. Oh my gosh, you know what I mean? And I have the perfect place too here in Santa Monica. So if you want to call ahead with the gift card, yeah. I'll let you know. Is it a red lobster? Is that- oh, <laughs> you know what? I'll, hey, fuck it, I'll get a red lobster, red man. Lobster. I haven't been there since uh, I was a child. Chicken tail. You know, yeah. Let me ask you a question, Tony. <laughs> you know, being a skate shop owner in business for twenty plus years, you know, you have this fantastic show called the Nine Club. You know, you know it, 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 these skate shops. You know, they hit us up asking if they we would uh, if they can carry some Nine Club gear. You know, and I, it, it, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, from a skate shop owner, you know, is that something that like. Are people coming in looking for nine club shit or something? Like I don't like I don't know. <laughs> Are you guys selling the shops? Yeah, beat no. Oh. No. We we just make small runs of stuff, Tony. But we do yeah. get shops hitting us up like we want to support and we want to carry your you know, the, the your your stuff, you know. But Hey. I think that's a no brainer then, because that's what I'm saying. Like if I'm gonna be if that's a way I can support the store, like I said, I want to. I don't like you got I mean it's I also think you, we gotta give back to what you're doing, so if it oh. means we can carry some of your products and we get, and it helps you guys out. I think it's a win win. No yeah. But what. I mean like it, uh, so for I me, like I want, perfect, I, I is there idea. a demand? Yeah. I want it to sell. If it, if, if I sell to you, I don't want, I just don't want it sitting there, yeah. you know? And well, all of a sudden, like I see an Instagram of it in the back room, like collecting dust. Well, I, mean, no one's gonna walk, I don't think anyone's going to walk in and be like, Oh, I want a nightclub too. Do you guys have one? Like if maybe. they saw it there, but if they saw it yeah. there, I think it'd be a different thing. Oh, maybe I think maybe. if it was just displayed, you know, yeah, and sales rep, yeah, I think what you guys you guys do is like you have your logo tee for sure and then yeah. like whatever cool other design right like come up with something that's like you know there's a logo tee and then there's just a rad t-shirt that's a nine club t-shirt right yeah. next to it and okay Ruth Chris is my McDonald's you know yeah. okay I was just well, I was just wondering cause I'm curious you know it's like like I said we just do small runs of stuff and it's not like we're we'd like to branch out yeah, but at the same time, you know, it's like I if I sell to a shop or if we sell to a shop, like I I I I, I want to sell through. You know what I mean? Like I'd feel bad if we just because I feel like with our website, people come people who want the stuff they come into the website. You know, I wouldn't worry about that too much. It's the no. same thing. Like yeah, maybe it goes on the sale rack. If not, we we sell for full price because you have fans and that's awesome. But regardless, it's I mean I have like throwing throwing you guys an order for some t-shirts is not the end of the world for us if it was even to sit around for a little while okay well, and I mean, it goes to i don't think guys i don't think any company the show it's wants not, to just it's, leave stuff there you know what i mean a, i'll tell you what i i definitely give i probably give some money to some brands that really have no content coming out much mm-hmm. or doing anything right so at least if i give you some money i'm ever i'm getting getting content every monday so i'm getting my money there you go so. well we'll send you a pdf after the show yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send you a line sheet I'm curious, what is selling that? Yeah, you should do it. Uh, for us, I mean, Deluxe still crushes, mm-hmm. and uh, we do well with, of course, F.A. does well, and mm-hmm. kids do, do want Palace, and kids do want, um, you know, Quasi does pretty well. A lot of the smaller, the brands that were, like, smaller, yeah. Polars and stuff that are now not as small mm-hmm. are, like, dominating pretty hard but, okay you know, we were stoked girl still sells well for us that's right girl and chocolate and we definitely keep that on the wall and is that because of simon and Corey? Um, up the there? ogs are doing good baker does good yeah simon Corey, and then um griffin. also griffin gas yeah. he's kind of the new guy he worked at the shop for a long time he rips dude he's so sick. yeah, yeah that's good yeah. you got any roberts boards up on the wall there yeah. uh, tony jeez oh, i've 
I bet we do. <laughs> or you know what? They sell out too fast. Hey, yeah, hey, 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 Portland. hey, hey, Portland. hey, 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 lawsuit if you want to yeah, call it good. you know it's uh it's, it's good man it's it's mm-hmm. scary yeah, shit bro i mean yeah. you know skate shops nowadays yeah. you hear yeah. about them hurting and it's the bit online business and you know and then something like this happens you know it's yeah, just, it's it's, it's it's heartbreaking you know yeah and it's also too like kind of you know the diy thing is like you know we, this was definitely a little brazen this was definitely putting it out there yeah. like it was this total local story at that spot but um, you know, you definitely kind of got to watch out. I wouldn't tell people like, yeah, go film and edit you building something where you shouldn't. And then mm-hmm. why not possibly <laughs> right. just don't put your logo on it. From it. Did you ever, um, yeah, don't put your logo on it. <laughs> yeah. sure. Did you ever see the dudes who built it again when this whole drama thing was going on and been like, dude, you guys really, man, I just wanted benches <laughs> at the tennis court. Man. You guys fucking built a ball on duck Island. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely thought, well, I even talked, they were like, because it's these guys. So they were already like traveling the country. And they, I, the one time I hit them up, they're like, we're in Alabama. We just walked into this shop and they talked about the bowl. I was like, sick. <laughs> yeah. I told them it was us. That's rad. <laughs> they couldn't believe it. Oh yeah, God. it's just funny. I mean, <laughs> and if you're me, it's like, you're a guy who's supposed to represent the skate scene and someone does something as like rad as what they did. Like what they did was just like, damn, that's like, in the spirit of skateboarding, it's sick. Yeah, the culture mm-hmm. pure. Yeah. As it is what it is. Yeah. There could be re- repercussions, but if I was to be like, "No, sorry, guys, I'm too scared. I can't do this. We should not do this." Right. I feel like I would have just. It would have been the wrong choice. Yeah, no, 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 for sure, for sure. I mean, but, thinking businessmen, that's what they would do. But, yeah, but these guys, yeah. man, they're they're they're. It just sucks. They had to pay thirty k for handing them a, a Home Depot card and yeah, yeah, putting their edit out there. <laughs> But they're dedicated, man. Skating guys, to fucking uh-huh. Mexico and building a bowl in the Skating to over Mexico. in the it's canoes insane. and Crazy. bringing concrete over. Somebody called me at uh, ten at night and said, "Yeah, we're gonna do this thing," and we're gonna get, jump in a canoe. And do this. I'd have been like, "Yo, man, just." You'd be like, "Why are you calling me?" Yeah, call me. Like, call me tomorrow. Yeah. I know. I literally have to. I had to give them the gift card to go build boxes because I'm too lazy to do it myself. See? <laughs> like, a skate box. I think we get along, Tony. So when I they think. tell me to do a bowl, I'm like. Ugh. Yeah, uh, but also, did you guys see the Thrasher? Um, ever they did a, a, a firing line where it's like a guy who like goes off a mini ramp and then cuts through a house and goes down a thing and then ends up at a vert ramp. Yeah, it's like a whole one minute line. Yeah, that's those dudes. Oh, oh sick. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh, so they're they're some pretty rad guys. Well, man, I'm glad you guys are doing good, man, and uh, you know, because uh, you know, who would buy us food? anymore you guys you know pizza lobster yeah, so this is great tony cheesy nuts this is a great uh well at least if you don't if you don't if you tell the shops you can't sell them shirts just send links to local pizza places <laughs> i know <laughs> but, but, no but it's one of those nice surprises where you just get something in the man you know what i mean yeah. and it's a gift card and the it was a good pizza cool, spot right around bomb. here great pizza yeah. spot yeah yeah great hey tony man anytime you're in la stop by Come on our show, let's chat, kick it, order hey. lobster, pizza, <laughs> whatever you want. Go with Chris. Yeah, no, but seriously, dude. Anytime you're in LA, man, come by. Oh, I will for sure. And anything we yeah, could if do. If you're ever up in Seattle, you have to stop in the shop. Yeah, I'm there once a month. Oh yeah. Because yeah, because Raj. I stopped in the shop. It was an awesome shop. Yeah. Well, I saw Raj. I was like, well, I was in the shop, and I just noticed like, oh, they're leaving. And I was like, see you later, guys. And I swear it was Raj. Yeah, yeah. I've been in your shop a couple like, times. Pretty. Uh, okay, sick. Well, yeah. yeah. Next time, say what's up. Yeah, my <laughs> girlfriend. My girlfriend lives in Capitol Hill. Oh, she does. Yeah, she lives on uh, Bellevue. Oh, sick. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, right. yeah, man. Come, that's, when, that's when Raj leaves out, and then sticks me with all the work to do on the show. Yeah. <laughs> and there is like nowhere better than in the summer than Seattle. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. If you're gonna come up there, you should come up and yeah. come up in July. You'll be stoked. I'd love to bring crew with there. Who? A crew of dudes up there. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Tony, man, anything we could ever do for you guys, you let us know, man. For sure. Thanks for uh, letting me just spread the word that the store's good, everything's good, and we're going to have a killer year this year. Love it. Awesome. Seattle skate scene is strong. Love it, Sick. Man. Good oh, yeah. shit, Tony. Hey, Tony, you guys have an online store, too? 
Yeah, yeah, we just have uh, 35thnorth.com. We don't do any skateboards because it's just too expensive to do skateboards, like shipping and shipping stuff yeah. never works out. But we always end up just like not making any money. So we yeah. just do shoes and clothes. And yeah, stuff, but doesn't but the, doesn't the, the customer pay for shipping? Yeah, but all these other guys have like five dollars shipping or free shipping over How do you seventy do that? bucks and can I start buying in bulk. Yeah, but then it's still like you make such little money on skateboards. It's really uh, hard. Right. And it's, it's like hard to box them up and stuff. Like yeah. yeah. I, can I just see stay that. out of it. And the other thing too is I don't want someone hey, if someone comes in and they want the Chris Roberts board, but I just sent it to a guy in Alabama, I feel bad about it. See but there? you paid full price oh, for that's it then. Right. Rather. That's right. But I got to say, Girl, Girl and Chocolate, we're one of the first guys to call and show support. Awesome. awesome. There right. you go. See? Yeah. yeah. We back you, man. We back you, bro. <laughs> Tell them oh, uh, well, maybe I'll send, shit. maybe we'll send a little, uh, <laughs> little uh, autographed uh, craw board up there, you know? <laughs> maybe send a little pizza, cool. a little pizza would, gift or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you should send one of those. Yeah. I yeah. wouldn't mind a coffee mug if you could send one of those. Yeah. Oh, we'll got oh, we got you. you. Yeah. Oh. Raj, we'll pack yeah, it in bubble good. wrap and Raj will hand deliver it to you, huh? Yeah. How about that? <laughs> Should I send it back to my girlfriend this weekend? All right. I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, we'll 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 hook I'll you put up, some man. Larges down and whatever new shit we make. Yeah, we'll cool. hook we'll hook you up, dude. You got those new air hats here? <laughs> yeah. yeah dude. Oh, I'm taking one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey Tony, dude, thank you so much for calling and, and thank you for everything that you guys do in skateboarding and i'm glad everything worked out for you guys man yeah. it's uh really good news to hear and glad that everybody kind of uh supported you guys through the whole thing man it's great it's great love it yeah thanks man i appreciate it and uh appreciate it. you letting me uh, uh clear the air on all this hey awesome. dude anytime you want to call dude call in or we'll call you we'll just call you out of out of the blue just to check in how about that okay Pop cool. in. Yeah, if you just, want if you ever have like a question of What's happening at a skate shop? What's selling? What's not? Who's the? Well, who is the kookiest dude we saw today? See, there you go. You. Could well, be, it could be a whole segment awesome. right there. There you go. Well, well, don't be surprised if we cold call you, Tony. <laughs> hey, thanks again, Tony. Man, we appreciate that. The call. All right. Yeah. Thanks again for the call, and uh, hope to see you guys soon. Oh yeah, we called yeah. you. What am I saying? Yeah. Thanks for the call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll talk soon, man, for sure. All right, word. Later, Tony. All right, later. Later, later Tony. Yep. Boom. There you go. I just rather didn't get completely fucked. Oh my God, 30 grand still. Jeez. That's a lot nice. of publicity for him, too, to be honest. That's like, true. <laughs> a lot of people talking about it, like a lot of support. Not that that should have happened, but that was yeah. that's skateboarding for you. Yeah. yeah. You know, crazy enough, you know. 30 grand worth of marketing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in, in a way, yeah. What else is in the news, Kelly, man? Uh, well... There's a lot of other stuff. A lot of stuff happened. I like. There's a lot of videos that went down. I mean, like, no, we're gonna be here all night. I know. The golden, uh, <laughs> golden foy time. That was oh gnarly. My God. Yeah, that was. You know what's cool about that one? Obviously, it was a young gun that got skater of the year. But it was cool to see his young gun homies, his crew, all crew, all, all go really, out there and really, make really, shit happen. Really you know. Well, it's funny because like we know Jamie Foy rips, right? Mm -hmm. And when we were, when skater of the year was going on, it was like Louis Lopez, Jamie Foy, blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Like it was everybody was. Uh, those were the two, right? Yeah. Was there anybody else? Maybe? Tiago. Tiago. Right? <laughs> but uh, I just found it funny that like, or I found it sick that like you know it was that, and then this video comes out of him just annihilating, killing it, yeah, Australia, and you're just like. Fucking dude, skater of the year. Fuck skater yeah. of the fucking decade. You know what I mean? He's gnarly. He's gnarly. Yeah. He's really good. I mean, how Sick. long were they over there, Raj, you'd say? Like 10 days or something? It was like two weeks or 10 days, something like that. <sighs> and they came out with like it's a 17 minute edit. Crazy. Back yeah. Smith was so fucked. Yeah. Bro. Dude, Mason Silva. Oh my God. The board slide he did. Oh, at the uh, long so, down oh. the thing? Yeah. Well, that was gnarly. If you bailed on that one, you're, I, uh, I don't know. I was talking to Jamie Owens about it, like the day it dropped, whatever, and like, like if they did two trips like that with that crew, they could have done a full length video. Oh, for sure. This is cool to see. Yeah, uh, Ish Chapeta, you know, just mm. big ass heel flip. Yeah, Tori was on that trip too, right? Tori he was did that there. Side kick flip transfer thing. That was insane. Yeah, mm -hmm. Backsmith, yeah. that big ass yeah. hubba thing. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, those well, things yeah. must. It's like it's just hammer time, dude. Yeah. There's, you know, it's just go out and just get as buck as you can. Easy. <laughs> Nice. But yeah, no, that's cool. Um, so congrats to Jamie on that and his crew. Yeah, that was sick. tight. John uh, Del Renzo. 
Huh? John DiLorenzo, dude. Oh, yeah, he killed it. Yeah. Dude, but I got, you know, just... Zion. I love that Beagle was out there filming him. Oh, yeah. yeah. How sick yeah, was that? Yeah, that was sick. Hell, like, yeah. It just kind of, you didn't, I, I didn't expect Beagle to be on a, that trip. You know what I mean? Baker Deathwish. Yeah. I'm just saying. Shake Jet. Like, you Thrasher, they send out the threat. You know what I mean? Like, it was rad that Beagle mm-hmm. was there. Given the hype. Chris Mulhern dropped this, like... He just dropped a video. He just dropped the edit of all I Philly spots. trailer for the video he's working on. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, it was amazing. It was good. But what a trailer. I mean, you're watching a video. It wasn't it like was a trailer. Cool. You know, trailers are like, do, 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 yeah. like edited, mm-hmm. you know? I mean, you're now... You, he's dropping footage. It was, it was, it was, yeah. It was legit footage. Dropping sour beer footage. Sour beer footage, dude. That guy... I just like his name. That's a sick name. Dylan Sour Beer. Sour Ooh. Beer. But like, sour it's crazy. Beer. I mean... Even there was a clip of some dude doing a switch crook in the snow. Yeah, you know it's just like in yeah, love. Like there's some love park footage mm-hmm. in there. You know. Yeah. But that's gonna be good. That's a good video to look forward to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, even that video itself was fun to watch. So yeah. totally. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. cheers in that one. What else we got? Kelly? We got uh, you know Chico. Chico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little slice of life. Chico's the best. He's a man. Mm-hmm. Bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you have any other good uh words to say i don't know let's keep talking about chico man maybe something will come up <laughs> he, was, he was ripping in that no his flat ground was so on point dude yeah. and skated uh what was it fort miley mm-hmm. and Alyssa the was steamer. there yeah. Yeah. yeah that was sick i like it how they were doing doubles yeah mm-hmm. were, like cruising and doing the nose blunt slides and the yeah just having fun the, yeah what's amazing is he literally does that every day mm-hmm. yeah like right. if you follow him that's what you see every yeah. day like, yeah. but his flat ground lines are kind of insane now. they're amazing yeah. Yeah. i love it how he was met he met up with kenny in san francisco he's like all right kenny i'm going yeah. to, going to fort miley <laughs> and like bailed on kenny whatever <laughs> like did he was he was that serious did he just like randomly see kenny there i don't know i mean well how, you know maybe he had something else to do for converse or yeah, something like that probably, yeah know. kenny's all over the place you know so? that was cool yeah. shout out to chico that was rad yeah yeah yeah, yeah chico's a man dude yeah, yeah. Watch it, oh, is he is he gonna come on the show dude? i'd love him to come on the show i don't know i mean are you asking me i know i should come on the show i would say i said i would love him to come on the show <laughs> yeah no he backs at you yeah <laughs> <laughs> what is that she my impression of chico <laughs> 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 Yo, see Rob, we just playing club. <laughs> it's like he can't breathe or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, love Chico, man. The guy that was amazing. Love is lo- love that. Love it. Love it. But yeah, I mean that was Chico's little, the best. Yeah, that mm-hmm. was a lot of stuff. A lot dude. of stuff, man. Let's take one more call. <laughs> <laughs> is that all the news? Yeah, that's it, bro. Seems like a lot of news. There was a lot of shit these past two weeks. I know. Uh, skateboarding slowed down. We can't do this show uh, for two hours. <laughs> I should be doing it weekly. Watch your oh. mouth, Raj. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll get sponsors. You gonna learn how to edit, Dan? Huh? No. We what? what I like mean? Daniel here. It's kind huh? of fun. I, lo- I love having Daniel here. It's great. No, Daniel's great, yeah. man. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. 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 Got a good yeah. line. Got a good, uh, good radio voice. <laughs> do I? I think you do. Really? Yeah. I don't really like listening to my voice, man. I don't think anyone does. I do. (laughs) Wow. You do like listening to your voice. Oh, I like that. (laughs) (laughs) You know what we need to have back on is Jerron. Oh, my God. Of course. He's got a radio voice. The Dubs? No. The Dubs does have a good voice. He's got a good radio voice. (laughs) (laughs) It's the Dubs. You're really good at imitating girl chocolate writers, huh? Yeah, I've been around him for so fucking long. <laughs> you should do one with Chico and him talking back and forth. <laughs> hey, Chico, man. You want to go skate? Let's do it. <laughs> Where do you want to go skate? I don't know, man. Let's go skate the new Diamond Park. <laughs> okay, I'm down. I'm going to drive for myself. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there in six hours. Uh. Let's go skate to Diamond Park. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. I'll be here. Yeah. Text me when you get here. I'll open the gate. <laughs> All right. So fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> I could do this all day. <laughs> yeah. Nolly back heel over the hip. <laughs> you got any other voice? Yeah, I, I drawn at a sick clip, though. Did you see the... Uh, the Nolly back the Nolly three back heel? three. Yeah. I know, man. All right, do Chico intro in the show. Wow! Wow! We got a special guest, dude. Now do your odds. 
Listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> we back. We back at the nine club, baby. Do, do the well. You gotta do you gotta the well. Do, you gotta do the well. Jerron doesn't do the well. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Jerron has his own thing going on. Uh, it would be like a well. Well, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to do a long one though, dude. Just... All right, all right, all right. <laughs> well. <laughs> We are back. We're back in the nine club, everybody. We got a special guest. Special guest. Mr. Chico Brandis. What's up? <laughs> Thanks for having me on. <laughs> oh my God. Well, listen, man, we gotta we gotta we gotta wrap this show up, bro. But first, before we wrap it up. And wait, there's more, Raj. <laughs> yeah, this is your Steve Jobs moment? No, but listen, before we go... We got a package. We got a care package from Australia. <coughs> That's nice. Wow. That's a Man, long that was flight. A, that was a coffer, huh, Dan? Not well, yeah, I was hoping. Uh, a nice gentleman by the name of uh, Vinny sent us a nice little care package from Ooh. Australia. Nice little... Uh, Thank you, Vinny. All kinds of, like, treats and... Uh, all, well, let me just read what he, he said. uh said, uh, I just have to show my appreciation for what you guys have started. It's it's deadest awesome. Oh, I, he actually sent a, um, a cheat sheet of uh, Australian lingo. Deadest means uh, the truth. Oh, okay. Yeah, the truth. Break that out next time we talk to Matthew. I know. He sent us a whole thing of like, uh, oh, crack of fat. You know what crack of fat means? Is that like smoke a cigarette? What's it means that? get an erection. <laughs> oh. Crack of fat. Yeah. Uh, anyway. So uh, after finding the nine club, I came to the conclusion that C. Rob gets uh, gets let down a lot. That's true. It's true. I do get let down. So I put together a little Aussie box for you all to share. It's full of heaps of rad. Uh, oh, heaps is uh, oh a lot. <laughs> Could have figured that one out. Yeah. Uh, he sent he sent us the translation. So I'm just reading the translation. Uh, heaps of rad uh, Australian shit like Tim Tams, Vegemite, tomato sauce, strawberry jam, Milo. Cheezels and uh, Wheat Bix. Also, <coughs> there's a thing called the Wheat Bix Challenge. Wheat Bix Challenge, uh, you may, you must eat as many Wheat Bix as possible, Daniel. What's in under a minute. <clears throat> What's Wheat Bix? It's like a, um, it's like a cereal bar. It's like a little cereal, dry cereal bar. Ooh. You know how they have like the saltine challenge where you try to okay, get yeah. saltines in under a minute? I th- right. I, I, it's I think like shredded it's like, wheat almost. Yeah, I think it's like that. Okay. Uh, eat as many wheat, wheat bix as possible in under a minute. You can start. You can't start. You can't start on the next one until the previous one is finished. Oh, so okay. We have. <laughs> oh. Kelly. We have a and Justin. For- <laughs> getting ready. You ever no. you ever seen like car, uh, particle board? Yeah, that's that, what, that's, that's what exactly what that oh, looks shit, like. Look okay, like it. this is uh, like a pillow of w- things. Particle board. Go to yeah. your. Uh, so is it sweet or just timer? dry? No, it's literally like a dry cracker, it's like sawdust. Like yeah. Huh? It looks. It, it, it's like dry, like the driest, like it's just dry cereal, but like okay, no flavor, no, right? None so you guys all. have to eat. You got your water there. Did you get, we got, yeah, we got, got waters. We got, we got waters. Shit. We have one minute on the clock. Are you guys ready? Wait, wait, wait. Is okay. there like, do we? Do so you we, have one minute to eat as many as it possible. But what are we water? winning here? Well, no, the water is just there for them to, uh, you know. You can't have. You, you can't. You cannot have no, water. No, your water is afterward. After, after. Yeah, yeah you yeah. cannot just like down it because right. it, you so you have, have a choke or anything. Do you know the Heimlich Dan by any chance? I do. You do. No, I don't. No. We can figure it out. Okay. We'll Google it. Wait, we'll so Google do we win anything or this is like... Just... <clears throat> well, you could have a nine club shirt or something. Yeah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, you guys ready for the Wheat Bix? I, how many... Uh, first of all, let's... How, how many do you think they'll they'll take down? Uh, well, listen, one minute, Daniel. Probably right? at two, I'm thinking. Two? Yeah. I'm gonna say you one have to finish half. the full one, one before you can start before the other start. one. But the, the, those bars you have to swallow them too. These things are like pretty thick, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <For> pe- <laughs> okay, I'll count you down. Okay. Okay. Roger's got the timer right here, and then we, at, at ten seconds, we'll start t- counting you down in ten seconds. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 So what you guys are. So you starting from what three? Oh, right, right, right. Now, yeah. Three, two, on one. Uh, okay. On oh. one. And then zero. Dive in. Okay. Yep. Oh, Roger, you, you can, you, what did wait, you say? One and a half. They'll eat one and a half. I, Who's I, gonna I, win? <laughs> dude, they're pretty dry. Yeah, I think they're gonna get like one and a half down. 
What's this stuff made of? Does anybody know? Justin looks a little hungry. He might get two. I've been <laughs> eating, kind of. That's the only thing. <laughs> no. Daniel, who do you think is going to win? I got Kelly. You got, you got your ke- money on Kelly. Well, yeah. Fatty K. He does have a little advantage. Yeah, I, I got a little advantage. You know? advantage <laughs> you know? I'm going to, I think, you know what? I, Justin's I'm pretty s- competitive. I think Justin might go no, for it. No, Justin is very competitive. So I'm sorry, it's going to be a good game. I, I think I think Kelly's going to take it. Like, Just by the Fatty K. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I feel you, dude. I'm ready. Okay, let's enough delay. And Roger, what did Roger? So you can't you it, can't study in the second the next one until, until you finish the, that one. It has to be like done. Like it's you got to be out of your mouth and then it's keep just gotta, Yeah, I mean, you know, whatever. No, you no, know. no, because that's it has to be gone. Well, to be honest, I don't know if it even matters because you if as long as you're just eating it, you know what I mean. How many? You have yeah, to you have to swallow the first one. Yeah, yeah. before you move the, on before to the second one. Okay, I'm gonna count you down. All right, ready. Oh, that, Eldie's taking Do I have to hold the button? Eldie's I don't know. I'm not holding the button. Dude. No, hold the button. <laughs> I'm not holding no, the no, button. No, no, let dude. him do whatever you're... You know what? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll activate your mic for you over here. There you go. There, there you go. Little... Button's deactivated. It's all good now? There you go. Ooh. Oh. See what I'm saying, Rush? Wow. Only yeah. times like this where Chris uh, lets me be free of the button. <laughs> That's right. I'm shoving things in my mouth. <laughs> He said it, not me. Hey. Okay. That will, that will make the Instagram edit for sure. Okay. You Can't guys wait. ready? Okay. I'm going to count you down, huh? All right. Ready. Three, Three two, two, one. Here we go. Clock has started. Damn, look at LD. Let's hear this chewing more. Yeah. Turn this up. <laughs> Dude, it sounds insane. <laughs> How is it? They can't tell. Uh, don't let them. De- no, keep going. Keep going. Yeah, this keep- is a contest. Yeah. Don't talk. <laughs> what do we have, Rush? Come on. Let's or 30, 30 seconds 35 left. 35 seconds. Yeah, oh, we got Kelly, one yet. Kelly's kind of almost, 30 seconds 30 left. Seconds almost done with one. Uh, oh, those, Kelly man? popped the rest of that one in his mouth. You gotta swallow it. LD's oh, still yeah, on is, his first bar. Two is way in 20 seconds left, boys. See, Kelly's in the lead. Oh, he's done with this yeah. first one. He's starting on his second one. Eldridge hasn't even finished Justin's the first one. Justin's on his first one. Let's see. We had a yeah, 10, 10, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bing, 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 I was right. Bing, bing, bing. Fatty K won. Do you know what? Yeah, I knew it. I thought I was going to. Oh, whoa. I thought be, eating it fast at first, because you, I seen you. You just took bite. And then took another bite. I, used I went, go, 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 go. And Kelly's still eating it. I, I like know, Justin, I challenge. didn't see you like chomp, like, chomp, I thought chomp, like I'm going to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go in and it just stopped. I yeah. used the saltine challenge like style. Method. The way I did that method. Right. Stood with like, this. slow and steady. Yeah, because you just shove it in your mouth. Eldridge, you didn't even finish one. I couldn't. What happened? It got stuck. I, all the, the, I was like, mm, 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 and then it just stopped. Dude, when you have no bev, it's like, you don't, you know? Let me tell you something, man. That did not go as I planned. It, wasn't, we it, wasn't, that, it wasn't that funny. No, it wasn't because you know why these things are so big? Like, it, they're, they have to be smaller, dude. It should have been broken up or something. Just keep it going. Yeah, uh, might as well keep it going. <laughs> Instagram gold. Instagram gold. <laughs> they aren't bad. Hey, what's up, though, dude? You this is again. probably the best time in my life because I don't have to use this button, dude. And I won. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait so a up. minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Kelly. Uh, huh. Listen. For years, <laughs> you've been saying like, "Oh, I love my button. I love the button." And now you're now you're like dissing the button. I don't know. No, no it's just a change of pace a little bit. You yeah. know what I mean? This is no like, one can uh, touch this button. I know, but it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a whole thing. Yeah. Now he's That's like, funny. he's like condemning his button. No, dude, I still love it. It's it's. I love this thing. I knew Kelly was going to win. Hey, hey, thank you guys. Thank you to all that believed in me. I'm still going to finish the rest of this one. I'm not a quitter, dude. Zero Ooh. two. You won both. I beat your ass. I kicked your ass at thumb wrestling. I wouldn't say kick my ass at thumb wrestling. <laughs> hey, dude. Oh, Eldridge, you're Owen. You're Owen too. I'm Owen too. Wow. Kick your ass out, bro. That's killing him inside because he's is. a competitive person. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty bummed. <laughs> Lives up to his name, man, Fatty K. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs>